What is up, guys? I know that intro sucks, and everybody hates it, but I love it. So, it is time for Game of the Week. This week, we are on Malinovka in the EBR. So, obviously, you can uh, understand that this is probably going to be better than most Game of the Week videos. Is it going to be a win? Ha! Fuck. We don't win Game of the Week videos, remember? I'm pretty sure the last three or four I've posted have all been defeats, so. I'm just going for an initial spot there. Just real quick, just real quick, like. And then we're gonna uh, get on out. Uh, one thing, well, there's not a lot going on uh, here, right, currently. I was gonna say there. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna talk about something and I completely forgot what it was, so uh, yeah. So good. We're just driving around like Morin right now. I guess this is how I play VR. I'm just kinda like trying to get my uh, my controls underneath me, my mechanics underneath me. At the beginning of the battle, just to make sure that, uh, that I can do good, and then I do shit like that. So I mean, <laughs> you're already spotted in the EBR. Just don't slow down to take a shot like that. It's pretty pretty simple. I'm just trying to get uh, this STB spotted out and killed. Just trying to keep him uh, lit up. I believe he goes dark here soon. Unfortunately, you see that uh, one of my platoon mates has already perished from uh, the IS-7s so on the one line. They decided to push the one line, which is uh, normally a good play, to be honest. Uh, but it's an IS-7 over there for some reason, so. What are you going to do against the Chieftain if you're in an IS-7? Oh, you have two Super Cons instead of a uh, Chieftain. So, uh, one, one thing you can notice about this game is uh, they send nothing up the hill. We win the hill for free. So that means, okay, I'm sitting here in the middle of the map. I need to get some more aggressive spotting. Yeah. But, you kind of have to play it slow, or at least as slow as you can in the VR. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I can go without getting spotted, where um, the tanks that are going to spot me are sitting. And this EBR just goes completely dark in front of me after I spotted him the first time. Which is unfortunate. Really unfortunate, considering I should have uh, been able to spot him from where he was, because he was not behind bushes or anything. So now I have to go challenge the EBR. He's rushing towards our artillery. Um, have to attempt to get him out of the game as fast as possible. He will move there. He gets taken out. We turn back around. Pretty simple stuff. If you see an EBR get deep in your in your team's defenses, you you kind of just uh, you kind of gotta go back and start to duel them. But already we're up to three thousand combined here. In four minutes out of the game. Um, this is uh, kind of a, a slow progressing melee fight, honestly. And it got really really annoying at the end of the game. So now we're just trying to get this SP2 spotted out. We're gonna put a shot in there. Didn't realize I was firing high explosive somehow. I think I actually reloaded high explosive to go fight the BBR, honestly. But now that SP2 is kind of back down, so we can get a little more aggressive with our spots here. We're gonna go up, spot the con, get spotted by the con, do our little. Don't know how to drive over a ridge line thing that I always do. 
I think when I get that down, I die a lot less in EBR, and uh, I actually become a good EBR player. We're a serviceable EBR player who doesn't even die from driving over a ridge line. Now, um, their WZ-132-1 is still alive. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of help from the 13 or 13-105 in that regard. So... That sucks, but we will still be trying to get into the, the uh, scout bush. Unfortunately, we do have to go through this water here. We're just going to really slow our progress down. But you can switch out of speed mode to go a little quicker. And then I, uh, yeah, I missed my turn. <laughs> Took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. This bad shot is going to get absolutely murked here. And there's another 1800 spotting, bringing us up to 6300 combined. So nothing, nothing like too crazy. Um, I can't shoot at him right now, or I will get spotted. I'm waiting on him to to like drive by the bush, and then he just gets taken out by the Jaeger. So. Bringing us up to 7,000 combined. This is a juicy game. This is already one of the best games I've ever had in the light tank. Probably the top five. And I'm, uh... Still got a lot of enemy tanks left. And I'm thinking... This is gonna be like a 20k game, right? No. Look at what my team is doing. Yes, they're getting more aggressive. They're getting more impatient is what they're doing. Patience is what gives you these games. So I'm trying to get up into these bushes without getting shot or spotted by the Supergarnk. Supergarnk's going to spot me, however, which is really unfortunate. And he's sitting in such a bitch location that I can't deal with. Um, now we see a TVP up here. For some reason, he decided to get forward in this situation. Um, and that is really annoying in my opinion. Shots where he was. Uh, I'm trying to bait a shot out from the WZ. I know he's still back at A4, A4, A5. So I'm just trying to bait out his shot so that he gets spotted uh, and hopefully taken out by the Chieftain, the EP, and the TVP. However, he will end up getting spotted, and yes, that is a sh that is a Death Star in the scouting bush. Spotting the E4 here. Just trying to keep him up. Go ahead and put my crosshair on him. I spotted him. I did not get any of that spotting damage, however. Unfortunately. I did check after the game was over. Now I notice the IS-7 eventually, right? 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 I don't. Okay. Ah, there he is. I'm like, ah, I can't shoot at him. I will get spotted by the WZ. And I would be correct. Because I'm going to put a shot into the Supercock here. And I don't get spotted. Okay. Ah, now we get spotted and there's a Leo. Um, as you can see, we're already up to, like... 8k <laughs> combined. Well over 8k combined now. I'm trying to get our team to. I'm just trying to keep this super conk lit. I'm trying to get a little deeper. And there's the WZ. This is a heat round, which is. Wait, a ballsy move by him. Nobody shoots him. And that is, a, you, you can see me looking at every single tank over here just like, okay guys, really? The one thing preventing us from winning this game has just gotten spotted and no one's shooting him. It's just the WZ-132-1. It's also uh, a Kozak player. 
in their WZ-131, which is not exactly a bad player. Anyway, what I'm trying to do here is just get a little more aggressive spotting the best way I can. I probably could have gone all the way around, but then I noticed the I-7, and I realized that's uh, a really bad idea. So I'm just trying to get more and more aggressive as I go through here. And unfortunately, this is this is going to end up being my downfall. Our inability to dig these super conks out and our inability to shoot the WZ is going to end up kind of like screwing us out of this game, right? I've never seen a 15 player team camp on Malinovka in. Um, You know, random battle, but yeah. It is what it is. Can't shoot him here. But I'm like, oh! There's no way he spots me, right? Wrong. And now, we have a dead EBR in 5, 4, 3, 2, what? I thought I died there. Oh well. Oh no, I go to fight the WZ, I think. Oh, I remember what happens. Oh, yes. So, as of late, I get spotted by the IS-7 there, by the way. People have been playing really, really weird. See a Leo up on the hill? Well, that's fine. I'm still going to go up there and try and, like, juke him out, right? He's driving up to the corner of the hill. You can see that on the minimap. He's obviously going up to the corner, and I'm like, ah, I can get underneath of him and go just go around him. Nope. I can't go around him. I can't go around him at all. Then I just gotta try and juke him out and it doesn't work. Why anyone would ever do that, I have no idea. It made zero sense at the time. It makes zero sense watching it back. I thought I could slip under through him. He had no idea I was going up towards the hill. I hadn't played on top of the, or I hadn't played on the hill the entire game. So, like, damn. Yeah, and then I type, who does that? And 8.5k combined. I'll see you guys in the stats. And here we are. As you can see, no blind spotting damage on that E4 that I spotted for the entirety of his hit points. But, you know, game's just not going to give it to me. That would have probably been pretty close to 9k. Uh, obviously, the shot on the super conks what in ultimately got me killed in this game. I th I think still had something to do with it. But patrol duty for the seven point two k spotting. No kills, unfortunately. Our team just we had five players in a tier ten all tier 10 game do under um, under 100 damage so yep and TVP actually played really well got himself high caliber 6,000 damage which was a good game for him uh, Chieftain probably could have done more um, probably could have just moved from where he was and uh, yeah Just a really, really dumb game, honestly. This guy did not play aggressive whatsoever and got a scout. And uh, 
he got 14k so uh, ultimately as you can see obvious obvious answer to the to the game here um he didn't die he won the game i got outplayed by a dumbass leo and uh yeah i also spotted nine tanks and i guess the scout is 10 nope i oh, you have to win the battle to get a scout huh yeah okay well, i would have gotten a scout if i had a uh, his team but anyway that's gonna do it for me uh hopefully i don't look completely terrible in this game and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Bye bye